Welcome back to Rob's Quads, guys. In today's video, we're going to be heading into the infamous tunnel. Now, I am aware, guys, you will, some of you will be upset because it is technically Bobby's spot. But regardless, I was in the area, kind of bored, and I need to get a video done. So we're here to try to catch some of these exotic blue crawfish. This tunnel and the surrounding water has tons of them. So odds are we're gonna come out today with a few at least. So we're going to jump down there and start netting the water before the canal or before the tunnel. Now we're actually going to go into the tunnel and set a trap. I might do that first just to give it time and also just to escape from the heat but today should be a good one please like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notifications for more videos like this and yeah i'm getting the gopro hooked up and set up and we're gonna just jump right into it now i was planning on putting on the waders but as you guys can see we got plenty of rain in so literally i cannot like they're soaking wet i do have my boots however so we're gonna be fine i got the big trap that we're gonna set in the sewer pit and then we got this net right here that we're gonna use to bang along the edge of this canal while we used to let this trap sit but we're gonna go into the tunnel all right guys so this is the beginning of the tunnel now as you guys know there could potentially be snake heads in here there could be gators there could be snakes we found all sorts of stuff in the sewer over the last couple months so it is kind of dangerous but regardless we're gonna get our big old trap in there and set it down and then we're gonna net around in this mess to try to see if we can pull up any fish and crawfish from these super thick mats but we're gonna we're gonna just jump right in boys <laughs> is this flag ah ah okay it's on it's on i didn't think it was working because it's so bright outside and the nice thing about having such a fat trap is i'm gonna be able to use this as a shield against all the cobwebs the boots are just barely big enough to not let me get drenched with water oh god oh this is giving me flashbacks oh oh god hopefully there's nothing in here if we had gopros when we came through here that first time it would have been so different but i'm crouching low you know my hair is big i'm not seeing anything oh oh there's a snake head right here Oh, if I wasn't holding the flashlight, I would have been able to net it. But there was a baby snake head in here. I just saw him. I don't know if you guys were able to see him. Is Snappy around? Hopefully not. That'd be, that'd be pretty scary. But this is the spot. Quick check for any little gators hiding around in here. Oh, I see some fish right there. Okay. We're going to drop this in. Let that trap sit there for a second. We'll come back to it in a few hours. Let it really sit. Man, this thing brings gives me PTSD, man. Well... Now that's out of the way, the trap is set. There are some fish down here for it. I'm sure more fish will come in over time as they travel in and out of the tunnel. But now that my net's free, we're gonna work our way back. Oh, oh. Like, right away, guys. We got a little blue crawfish. See, they like the tunnel a lot more than the swamp, but they're kind of everywhere in this location. I'll try to just get them with my hands. The water's a little chillier. Boom, just like that, guys. <laughs> oh, it's got babies. Wow. <laughs> So right away, guys, we got a pregnant blue craw. I might leave the crawfish here at the end of the day just because, you know, they're cool to see and I want to let them just breed out. But we're going to scan the cracks and stuff as we make our way out of here before we start netting again to see if we... Oh, there's a fish down there. Look at that. Where'd he go? I literally just saw a fish. Oh, is that the snakehead? Guys, look. If you look close enough, there's a snakehead right here. I just scared it, I think. He's in there somewhere. So yeah, like I was saying, guys, lots of snakeheads. We got some mosquito fish right here. Where did that snakehead go? I'm not able to see him, but I thought about trying to grab him with my hand. I just didn't actually do it. But now we're back out of the tunnel, guys. We're gonna let that trap sit. I'm gonna put away the flashlight, and we're gonna get this guy in our little keeper bucket. Already, guys, the tunnel's living up to its name. We got our first crawfish right here. This so happens to also be pregnant, which is really sick to see. And we got this net in my hand. That's gonna be very good for punching through these thick grass mats we're gonna be fishing today so i'll put the keeper bucket right there grab our little friend hey man you can let go you can let go come on just cooperate there you go so hopefully she doesn't lose any of those eggs she's carrying because you know the more crawfish carrying babies there's a fly in my face please leave me alone the better because then you know the spot will stay healthy oh spider all right, we're gonna put the flashlight right there. Hopefully I don't forget it. We're gonna start making our way down the canal, netting around. I don't know how good this net's gonna be, but we're gonna do our best to try to pick up some fish, other critters. It looks like our first net was a massive fail, but it's okay. You know, sometimes that's just how it goes. Let's see. I feel like the water's... Oh, what are you? Hey. Oh, it's just a little molly, but I feel like the water here is a lot shallower than it usually is. I feel like it's a lot deeper most of the time. But first fish of the day, we're gonna get this guy back in the water. It's pretty interesting how these weeds down here are like super, super dead. 
And this, oh, I was about to say this net is really bad, but look at that, guys. We got some fish right here. Looks like we caught a plant and two little jewels. Oh, no, that's up. Hey, man. We caught a little jewel cichlid and then we caught this little Mayan. So we're going to get them back in the water as well. No sense in keeping these guys. And we're just going to keep punching these grass mats to try to pull up some crawfish. Holy flies. If I came here at night, I'd probably get swarmed. Ugh. Big pole, big pole. Oh, we got a lot of little fish. Nothing crazy. Just a bunch of little mollies. It's cool. We usually don't actually catch too many exotic like fish from here. Usually mainly the blue craws and other invasives hmm. Ew, so much algae let's see oh yeah this water level is super low it's weird because it just dunked on us last night <sighs> yeah nothing in that net maybe it's just the way i'm doing it Ugh. Oh, yeah. Look at this, guys. We got some little shrimp. We got some smaller little fish. Uh, ultimately, all things we're just going to throw back. I'm thinking I might pull the little smaller net out of the truck in a second because it might just be my weapon of choice, but I'm not really getting, like, the penetration I'm looking for. Uh, oh! Oh, look at that guys amongst all the shrimps and smaller fish we got another little blue crawfish here guys that is so sick look at them just cruising through they got such good color on them they're kind of like spiders bro like low-key but we got another little crawfish hey come on let go of the net let go of the net let go of the net there you go pal instantly in defense mode but we got another little crawfish right here a nice nice blue so we're gonna get him in the keeper bucket into the keeper bucket you go. So we got two blue crawfish already on the day. Um, we're gonna just keep getting after it. I've got the longer pole net right here and I actually see a ton of fish hiding back here. Some cichlids I see. So we're gonna try our best to net round back here and yoink something. Oh, oh no. <laughs> we netted a bunch of mud and my boots filling with water. That's kind of hype. Anybody in this net? The mosquito fish, we'll get them back in the water ASAP Ferg. This net is also aluminum, like through and through. So it's able to withstand me pretty good. It's just such a fine net. It gets kind of annoying when you pick up some mud. Nothing crazy in there. That scrape the top method was working pretty good. Oh yeah. There's no way we didn't get a fish in there. Scorching through the mud. We're gonna just keep getting after it guys. Rapid fire. Fish won't know what hit him. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh, we caught some stud mollies. Oh my God. They usually don't get that big in this canal. Oh my God. Oh, holy smokes. Look at the size on this guy. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful, beautiful little molly right here. So we're gonna get him back in the water. No reason to hold on to him. I think we caught another fish in here. Where'd it go? I think it might've been another molly. Boom, look at that guys. Nope, this is a female. So we got a female and a male molly. We just caught a little couple. Have fun guys. Go make some more babies. And all these little scuds are gross. Please leave me alone. We're off to a pretty hot start. I'm really excited to see what that trap ends up pulling up. And you know what? Let's run over here to this tunnel. This water is generally deeper. Oh, look at all the fish right there. Yeah. Oh my God. Let's see. Oh yeah. Any? crawfish lingering around in here. I know you guys are around. Looks like we got some mollies, a lot of mollies, a lot of mosquito fish. Yeah, <sighs> nothing really that interesting, I don't think. So we're just gonna put these home beat little, little dudes back in there. Right back into it. Oh, this grass, like this anacris, I almost call it grass. It's actually an aquarium plant. Grows here in the wild in Florida, like weeds, literally. But it's looking incredible. Oh, what is that? Is that like some kind of killifish? Hold on guys, let's inspect. Oh no, I see a water bug in that net. Please don't tag me. Hold on, let's get this fish in the light. I don't think I've ever caught anything like this. This looks like it could be some kind of killifish. Look, oh no, no. Oh, there he is. I'd be so sad if we lost it. Oh no, please. I'll hold it, oh. Oh my God, please stop. I'll try to hold its head so it doesn't jump out of my hands, but I have never seen a fish like this, guys. Could this be a little killifish or something? It's got beautiful, beautiful colors on it. I'll try to get closer footage of you of it for you guys, but what kind of fish is that, guys? If you know it, comment down below. We're gonna get them in the keeper bucket regardless. Hopefully the crawfish play nice. This is, I've never caught this before. Here you go, little buddy. Play nice with your newfound friends, please. That thing is actually beautiful. I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. I see a lot of fish activity bu bubbling down over there. So we're gonna run over there and see. Oh yeah, there's a lot of fish. Oh, great net, great net. Oh, oh, oh that's a lot of mud. Oh no. Luckily this bank's pretty clear, so it's pretty easy to just slap it down and check it out i'm gonna break the net oh sh oh no it's got a little slant to it now okay 
We're gonna net around a little longer and then I'm gonna go check that trap. Mainly because I got a lot of stuff in like my normal life that I'm uh, trying to sort out. Oh, let's see here. Oh my God, holy mollies. We gotta get all of them back in the water. Oh God, so many mollies. We'll get these guys back in the water and then we're gonna run back in that tunnel and see what it do. All right guys, it's time to get swamped. All right, it's time to get swampier than ever. We're gonna run back in that tunnel. All right gang, we're gonna run in there. We're gonna get our trap and we're gonna do it. All right, I gotta get my flashlights. We got the flashlights. Gains, you feel me? Peep the legs. Legs looking kind of weak with no sun, but they're improving, I promise. Like, I swear. You guys haven't been able look at that. You see that? See the quad? The legs are improving, all right? Like, we're doing it. You see You see the development? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Biceps a little bit? I don't think I'm putting this in the video. But we're going to run down there and get our trap out of that tunnel. Hey, guys. Is this? Oh, it's on. It's on. I mean, I think... It's gonna be better for the tunnel. Right, we're just gonna run in here. Oh, you see how many fish are on this place, bro? I think my camera might have been a little too low when I was walking through here the first time around, but that's fine. The water is super clear. So if there's any fish in here, oh, ho, ho. boys, we did it. <laughs> we caught some fish. Let's go. All right, so we got the trap right here. I see a ton of mollies in here. I don't think I see. Oh, there's a snake head. <laughs> what? <laughs> snake head in that trap. But I don't think I see any. Crawf oh, I see a blue craw. I see two. Okay, so we got some crawfish in here. We got a snake head. Oh, yeah, we got a good amount of craws. I see a couple. They're eating down that cat food. So this was a major success. We just got to pull these guys out of here and bring them to our keeper bucket. Oh, oh. No snappies? Hopefully not. <laughs> well, either way, if there is, they're not going to catch us now. But we're going to bring this trap out. Oh, <laughs> And I'm gonna leave it in the water as we walk, just to make sure these guys think and sound and all that good stuff. And we're gonna open this trap up. I think I feel a spider on my back. Oh, wait, frick, dude. This was tilted down. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up more. I might've just lost a few fish. Oh no. Hopefully whatever crawfish were in here, I'm still in here. Ooh. All right, <laughs> time for the big reveal. Oh, let's go. Oh, we got two snake heads in the trap and some cichlids, some mollies, and we got a ton of blue. blue little crawfish my brain was stuttering a little bit but what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this bad boy up check this bad boy out let me make sure i'm recording oh yeah we're lit oh <laughs> oh hey buddy we got a good amount of crawfish in here look at that guys we got one blue crawfish right here get him in our little keeper bucket we got a second crawfish there's an absolute giant crawfish down there we got this guy right here awesome i'm gonna get them out first because they're like the prized possessions and oh my god this is like a mac daddy crawfish i really wish i could keep them i might hit up zach and see if he wants any blue crawfish just so we could keep them in a pond somewhere that i could later get them back from and then we got this guy right here oh he's missing a claw they might have been fighting over some food in that trap possibly yeah his claw got ripped off we're gonna get him in the keeper bucket so we caught six blue crawfish from the canal and then down here guys what in the world is going on here we got a beautiful beautiful cichlid right here we're, we're gonna get, get him back in the water we got a bunch of mollies in here a bluegill some mollies nothing too crazy another eastern happy cichlid look at that <laughs> oh look at this we got some snakeheads in the trap too. See, I told you guys there's snakeheads in that uh, tunnel. Very cool. Last time I caught snakeheads in a trap, they actually ended up suffocating because they couldn't get any air, but these guys were able to manage just fine. We got another little snakehead right here. Hey buddy, uh, it's legal to actually put them back in the waters you caught them from. So there's no issue there. And then the rest of these seem to be, oh, it's been a minute since I caught a nice little dual cichlid. I kind of been missing it. I love the color on them. At some point guys in the near future, we're going to have a spot to actually keep those and Eastern half Happy cichlids will have species specific tank. But outside of that, guys, it looks like the rest are just some basic cichlids and mollies. So we're gonna get all these guys back in the water. This little accordion trap. <laughs> They'll be able to keep that cat food. They'll be able to eat it all up. And that is it for today's video, guys. Just to give you guys a couple updates on, you know, life. So I found an Airbnb that I'm going to be renting for the month of October. And I think I'm pretty certain I'm going to end up finding like a listing on Airbnb and then try to just talk to the owner into letting me rent out their house because then it'll come furnished. I have all the stuff be around the same cost and it'll be a house i'll be able to do whatever i want in it probably within reason if anything it's going to have a garage so then i could use the garage for the fish tank stuff and then i'll just it, it'll be a good move and also give you guys a little scoop um don't expect a camera person for a little while you know in see eye to eye i was like 
and that's basically all the details I'm gonna give on that just cuz like it's the respectful thing to do but hey we want different things so that's that um, yeah I think that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notifications if you did I'll catch you guys in the next one deuces My car's making a lot of noises. <laughs>